Hi everyone, FT here, and this is a breakfast from this uh, IRP cold weather ration. Some people say this is a combat ration, other people say it is a civilian ration. Um, it's a ration, that's what's important here, and it is a fortified winter ration. Um, if you watch the first video, you'll see the contents of this. What I have done is I have selected breakfast from that contents, and voila, here it is. Porridge. So I'm going to make up this porridge. You're going to have latte. And I've got some of this apple jam. To drink with that, I'm going to reconstitute this milk powder. And we're going to add the coffee to it. Now I have been told that that's the way to use it. Apparently I'll be missing an experience if I don't do it this way, so that's what I'll be doing. And then we've got a little uh, towelette and a piece of Mentos gum to refreshing the palate after. And of course, a pack of crackers. This one looks a bit worse for wear, but there's six in there. And I have no idea why I got this other glass out, but we'll see what happens. I might dig into the ration and pull something else out, like a cup of tea, if I'm not keen on this. Because I want to experience this ration completely, I will be using a measuring jug to make sure that I measure the exact quantities that it says on the packs. And mix them up in the correct way. Right, so the instructions for this say that I need to put it in a bowl, add 150 millilitres of water, give it a good old stir, cover it and leave it for three minutes. So I've got a bowl here. Now the notch on this is at the top, so we're going to open it like that. There we are. Looks like uh, porridge to me. Yeah, it's got a, a raspberry smell to it. I'm using the spoon that came with this ration. There were three of them. I broke one in the first video showing how flimsy these are. But uh, we've got two left. I want the full experience, so let's use it. So that was a uh, 150 millilitres of water. As soon as I added the water, the raspberry bits started to show up. You see? Now I've got to cover that, so I've got a plate here to cover it. We're going to move it to one side. We're going to leave that over there for three minutes. So while we're waiting for that, let's do this uh, milk coffee. So we've got a packet of instant coffee. We have a packet of drink milk. For those of you who are curious, and I'll put it in the text, 200 millilitres of water is just about seven ounces. And that equates to round about three quarters of a cup of water. So we're going to do this the way they suggest. We're going to pour the hot water in first. There we go. We're going to add this milk powder. Yeah, now that's warm milk. It uh, reconstituted very, very easily. I'm just going to try it by itself. Hmm. Mm, that's that's very tasty. We have a drink in the UK called Horlicks or Ovaltine. It's got a hint of that to it. Very, very mild. 
Mm, but very satisfying. So let's do this. Let's grab the coffee. That alarm, by the way, was telling me that the porridge is ready. That's the three minutes up. Let's get the coffee in there. That's one hot milky coffee. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Mmm. Now that's a nice drink. Mellow, undertones of coffee, a bit of vanilla in there from that milk, and it's got a velvety texture to it. I like that, I like that a lot. See what we've got here, here's our porridge. Mmm, you can smell the raspberry. As soon as I took that plate lid off, the odour of raspberry came through, wonderful. This is a bit runny. It's runnier than the, I'd normally eat porridge. I quite like my porridge so you can stand the spoon up in it, but uh, we're following instructions. So let's see. So let's give this a taste, see what it's like. Mm. Again, creamy, surprisingly not an overpowering flavour of raspberry. The aroma would suggest that this thing is going to knock the back of your mouth out taste wise with raspberry but it's very mild the, the actual raspberry flavor itself is very mild but just enough to give it that other dimension mm. light warm again milky it's got that milkiness to it so that with this coffee On a cold winter's morning, it's the 2nd of December, here in Great Britain. This is a most welcome breakfast. Very warming. And it just makes you feel though you're wrapping yourself up in a blanket. Now that sounds really stupid, I know. But it's one of those comfort things. Warm, milky, mild coffee with a vanilla undertone. And you're combining that with this beautifully smooth porridge with that raspberry again it's an undertone it's not a flavor it's just there you just know it's there but it's not overpowering delicious but something I've decided I will do I must try the crackers with the porridge it sounds dark but you never know maybe it's uh, something that will work So I'll take that broken one, let's get these out, put them over there. So here's a bit of cracker. They're harder than I thought, pretty bland, no real flavour at all. And indeed, no point having them with the porridge. So we'll use them later with the pate and the jam. Oh, I didn't clean my hands before I ate my meal. Let's take a look at this uh, antiseptic wipe. Mm. I've seen better ones, quite small. No smell. It'll just be an alcohol base, I suppose. While I'm eating this, I decided I'm going to try this drink. So I've decided to have this as well, but I'm having it as a hot drink. It seems to be a fruit drink, uh, because the translation says it's got apple in it, peach, rosehip extract. Now I think I've had this before, and they are delicious. Now I've had it cold before, but they're very smooth, it's got a texture to it. Now this says to add it to 275 millilitres of water. hard to start. Oh yeah, I'm sure this is the one I've had before. So I've changed the glass. Yeah, it's very crystallised in there. 
That's how it should be. I remember last time I had this in a Russian ration and I said it's it's almost got a sap type uh, texture to it. It was delicious. So I'm going to add that into here. That's 250. There we go. Give this a stir. That is so nice to have and comforting on a winter's day or a cold day. Mm. The texture is just about spot on. Mm. It's really good. I know it's only porridge but it's really good. Here's our milky coffee, which again is just awesome. Mm. It's quite strange because you can't actually distinguish the vanilla, but you know it's there. You get little hints of it as you drink it. But it's it's very milky, it's creamy, it's lovely. I mean, how can you not like that? That's, that's uh, fantastic. I think the importance here is that this is a winter ration. It's hot porridge, hot coffee milk, and hot fruit drink. Oh, yes. It's a flavor I'm not familiar with in the UK. I haven't had a beverage that has that distinct velvety texture to it and the, the honey. You can't distinguish the peach, the apple. Maybe the rose hip comes through a little bit. It's delicious. It's all just so. In fact, it's all just so delicious. You want to eat this and then just curl up and go to sleep and feel totally content for the rest of the day. Mmm. Well, I've said it once, I'll say it again. That porridge is delicious. So let's take a look at this pate. Oh. Mm. Nice aroma. I'm going to try a bit of this just by itself. Oh, it's very soft, very soft. Mm. Yeah. Again, it's a mild flavour. It's almost a foam consistency. Let's try it on a cracker. Mm. Dropping it everywhere. Mm. The crackers have no flavour at all to themselves and they're a bit, I don't know, a bit strange. But the combination of the cracker with the pate is very nice. And they give you quite a big tub of it because uh, the palate is quite nice on the palate actually and there is no aftertaste. <clears throat> but there's quite a lot of it so you can pile it on quite thick. Mm, but they're not easy to bite into. Mm. I don't like the crackers, but the pate is good. Mm. Mm. Good. And this rose hip drink. Oh, 
very sweet very sweet the sediment in the bottom it says is quite normal I suppose you have to keep it stirred up so I've just finished this broken cracker up this pate obviously there's going to be some pate left over but I can have that during the day It's very tasty. <clears throat> There's no getting away from it. But you can see how easy this, this is. Kind of smooth. It's not like a spam at all, it's more of a paste. You could squeeze that out of a tube. Mm. It's very nice. Let's try this jam out. It's, uh, I say it's jam, it looks more like an apple puree, apple paste. Oh, wow! Goodness me! That is really sweet. Well, that knocks your socks off. Mmm. That's more of an apple paste. I think the Americans call jam jelly. And of course in the United Kingdom we call jam jam. But that is a paste. Wow. And it's very strong. It's very sweet. And very strong flavours. But it's delicious. Well I've got one more cracker left here and I'm not wasting this. So that's going straight on to that cracker. So for this breakfast I selected, if I've got any criticism, excuse me, what talking with my mouth for, and in fact probably true for the whole ration, these crackers are just too hard again. Well, of course it could be that my soft western teeth just aren't used to eating this sort of thing. Um, I mean they're not as hard as the Polish ones were, the Polish hard tack. So I'm going to finish this off. This is delicious. Ah, lovely. While I'm talking about the subject of ridiculously hard hard tack, I thought you'd like to see these. These are something that a viewer sent to me. Someone I know well who lives in Wales. And these are homemade ship biscuits. Now these biscuits are based on a recipe going back before Napoleon, Nelson, and they were the ration biscuits that were given on His Majesty's uh, naval ships. So they'd get some of these to eat in a day. And they'd also have some grog, which is rum diluted with water. But these things are unbelievable. Uh, he's followed the traditional recipe. However, he believes they might be twice as thick. And they are so hard. My goodness. They are really tough. Mmm, wow. My teeth are not strong enough for these. But thank you for sending me them. These are hard, but I'd stick to these because I just cannot handle these ones. <laughs> now I'm going to finish off this cracker. That'll be breakfast over with.
Thanks for staying with me. The only thing I've got to have is a Mentos and uh, I'll do a quick thing on that. So thanks for watching, stay safe and hopefully you'll join me for the next video. Cheers. Mm. So here's the Mentos, pure fresh palate cleaner. Just a round disc of gum. Mm-hmm.